Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It's Sunday, the 24th of January. So I decided that I would just take a minute out of um, my tweaking my manuscript. I'm almost done. I'm so excited. So say a prayer. Thank you. So let's get going. This is for the week commencing the 24th of January, 2021. Have we resolved to, to accept whatever it is that is coming in for us and not need to know how it's going to how it's going to unfold, how it's going to look, smell, taste, touch, right? So that's today's message for the week. Let's resolve to not have to figure it out. Allowing universe to show us. Okay? Just for just for this week, try it out. The minute you start thinking about, oh, I really hope this happens or I really hope this transpires, let's just you just stop yourself midstream and say, okay, let go and let God. Okay, this is for the week. So let's just see. I wanted to do something for you guys because I felt bad about not going live on Friday. <clears throat> and I thank you for your understanding. Wow, let go and let God. Wow, it's beautiful. Our beliefs systems, our morals, our values, the way we the way we go about walking through life. Do we ask, like do we say let go and let God? Or do we try and finagle the narrative? Spirit just came out saying, trust me. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I shouldn't say wow. <laughs> Thank you. So the love, the energy that we want to emit out into the world, what we are giving our energy, when we are giving our energy, send energy of love, right? Like, let's have our energy be completely for love, about love, feel the love, speak the love, everything, right? See the light of a new day, the sunrise, the sun is rising. It's a new day, it's a new dawn. It may, it may look bleak to the external eye, but what holds the light is within. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, holding the light. She has the torch. She's been given the torch, right? She's been given the torch to proceed in life according to the passions with which she holds near and dear. She lit the torch and she lets go. You see the dog here? That's the trust and the loyalty that an the doggy gives her, which is life is about trusting. Life is about the loyalty that you give to others and the love that you show. And this is how we balance our lives. Our lives are in complete alignment when we know that by letting go and allowing God to show us the way forward, then you're in alignment with right mind, body, soul. Okay. That's the alignment. That's for the week. That is what we're doing. We are going for it. Exactly. We're shedding the ego. One morsel at a time. We're shedding the need to know. We're shedding the fear we're shedding 
the external need for approval. That's what we're shedding. As above, so below. And we are moving into a time in our lives where we're, we are now, where we're going to only rely on our heart center. What we feel, what we show is all in alignment as we release the need to know we release the externals, right? The externals of whatever addictions, etc. Yeah. And we look out into the world and say, okay, it's a new day. It's a rebirth. This is the child that has been born and reborn, right? The maturity and the rebirth is the balance. It could be a mother and son, could be a mother and daughter. It could be the love between a mother and daughter or son. Sorry, the doggies are barking, but that is their job. So, you know what I mean? So we must balance that which with whatever it is in our lives that needs balancing and accept for whatever, you know, whatever has ended is, is ended. Whatever we try to control, we no longer try to control it. We let go and let God. I mean, I could have just stopped. Literally, I could have just stopped at the first card. You know, I could have. Because this is, this is. This is where we're all headed. Get it? This is the goal. This is the purpose. Higher consciousness, unity, awareness, letting go and letting God. That is, that is, allow yourself to walk through your journey, your path with love, passion, balancing, Balancing and knowing that through a rebirth that one has released, released that which no longer serves their highest good and allows one to release everything that doesn't. And whatever it looks like, whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is that must be released from your life not needing to know, not needing to, to control the terrain, taking your hands off the wheel, just allowing things to unfold naturally. That's the message for the week, for the entire week. And, and, and knowing that, and, and through that, you go home you know what your you this is part of going home right they're in the middle of the horizon as above so here as above releasing and allowing right walking through within and without not needing to know these three cards depict the whole reading so that you don't get disappointed. I mean, when we don't expect anything, we don't get disappointed. When we allow things to uncover as they're supposed to come out, how they're, how the ending, right? It's like a book. It is a book. The beginning to the end is we don't, I mean, of course we have, you know, we have, we've opened a book up or what have you. And we've, sorry, we've, we've opened a book up and said, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to read, you know, the ending or whatever. You know what I mean? We've, d most of us have done it for fun, but this is saying, 
now we don't need to know so that we don't expect so that we're not disappointed. That's what today's reading is all about, not being disappointed. And just letting universe show you the way. I mean, that truly is. Not being disappointed anymore, right? When you don't try to control, this is control. How you think, how it's going to look, what it's going to end up like. Am I going to like it? Is it going to look good, taste good, feel good? You know, it's everything. Everything that we, that the mind, I mean, because this is what it is. This is mind control. That's why Friday's, Friday's reading was about just letting go and letting, making your own, make discerning and making your own, um, making your own belief systems, right? It's like starting from scratch, completely scrapping the way that we grew up thinking and believing because this is tradition, right? These are traditional beliefs. And, and the things that we were taught, the things that are still trying to be, you know, given to us as belief systems, like we now, and especially now, which is a good lesson. This is a good lesson for all, each and every one of us here on the earth plane, right? Is, is discernment is not, I mean, you can't even like whatever you're reading on social media, whatever you're watching on TV, you know, news, all this stuff. Is any of it true? So that is what this is about. You're dropping this. Mind control of how you have believed and grown up with and still they're still they who's they society trying to control the terrain of how we think in the present moment in our homes right sitting in our homes watching the news watch looking at social media etc you do see the fox here, do you not? You see the fox. They're both looking back. They want to ensure that they have marked their territory and put out into the world the fear of, which this is it, this is it, so hold on. The fear of God into your life. That's what that is. If it was upright, that's the fear of God. And why do we even say that? Where did that come from? When we, when we so loosely use the term fear of God, why? Shouldn't we be fearing fear? Because fear does fear itself. So why fear God when there's no reason to fear something that, and the energetic force of love and light bestowing upon us only the best outcome for each and every one of our lives it has not has that not happened to you when we sit there and say oh this is this is definitely what i want oh my god yes i'm going for it this is what i want i'm making the decision cuz i know better that's this i know better i know better than 
Here's the, here's the paradox of life right here in these two cards. The yin and the yang, the push and the pull, the fear and the love, the hate and the love, the truth and the lies. We're always at odds. However, fear does not win. When we have taken ourselves out of a situation where we know, oh my God, I, I picked this person to go out with and they turned out to be, you know, some crazy stalker. I should have known better. And just given myself a minute not to feel like I have to go picking someone just because I need attention or just because someone told me, why aren't you dating? You haven't dated in years. Why aren't you going out? Because you're not ready. So then you pick someone, right? You go on, you know, these websites, you pick these people but you're not allowing the actual, the actual magnetic attraction of the universal energetic field of love to light the torch and lead the way. That's what this is about. So what happens? One cup runneth over after another cup runneth over, right? It's like one disappointment after another. It's right here. I can, I can, I, I can tweak, right? The storyline with all these cards because it's not about, it's about truth and trust and the loyalty of being one with yourself, within and without, family, home. So with each disappointment, you look, you keep looking, you keep searching and you get the same thing. It's a vicious cycle. This is a vicious cycle. It keeps eluding you. It keeps deluding you. It keeps discouraging you because why? Well, because I want to go out. I want to do stuff. I want to meet someone. Well, yeah, but you're meeting people who are who are not magnetically attracting your vibe, the same vibe you're on. You're not attracting the same, the people that, you know, magnetically get attracted to us. Not allowing that to happen breeds disappointment and discouragement, right? So when we do that, we let, this guy in, it's a push and pull, right? It's also mental manipulation. That was it's the same thing, right? Yeah, but my girlfriend said that, you know, he was a good guy. Just, I'm just using different examples or I heard I really wanted to open this business when I want to open this business, but the time wasn't right. I really wanted to start this new job. I want to get a new job, but my ego got right. I wanted that job that was X amount of dollars because they're giving me a really good payout, but because I'm accepting the payout, right? The payout, you, you took, you sold your soul for money, right? Selling your soul. That's what this is. Selling your soul. Well, it would be upright. Selling your soul for money, pleasures, and it makes you feel like crap when you do. 
you keep searching and searching and getting disappointed after each one, each time that you go for what spirit is saying, you're, you're going for the things that are of your ego, right? Instead of the goodness of your heart. Like, where's the love? When you go to a job that is keeping you there because they're dangling the carrot in front of you of the dollar. But inside, externally, you're like, oh shit, I'm making a F load of money. But inside, your emotions, emotional, your inside, in your heart of hearts, you know you sold, you sold out. You sold yourself out. It's, it's no one else. And I'm going to bring it up because I did have a great con conversation reading with a client yesterday. The devil is in the details. Remember that. The devil is in the details. Why do you think that saying came out? And where do you think that came from? Understand that. The need to know, however anything is going to unfold from the Alpha to the Omega. Alpha, Omega. On the path, the journey of alignment. Mind, body, soul. Right here. Home within and without right here the need to know selling yourself to sex drugs rock and roll money power hunger desire lust need want must have instant gratification selling yourself to the devil that's what those things are. That's what that means. It doesn't depict a person. It depicts selling yourself out for something that you know externally it's going to make you happy, but internally it's just eating away at you. Literally. Literally eating away. And you continue to do so because, you know, that's what happens. It's part of life. But if you realize it, if you become aware of what you're doing, realizing the devil is in the details, you don't need to know. Sometimes we don't need to know. We really, if we have the faith and the trust, we don't need to know ever. Just walk your path. Walk your path trusting. Walk your path in love and light. Mind, body, soul. The Alpha and the Omega. And the balance of the masculine and feminine. Yin and Yang. Walk through life just allowing spirit to show you the way. God to show you the way, the, the, the energetic field of love, which is God, to show you the way forward. Let go and let God. We see that it happens all the time when we let go and we're given something to replace something perhaps that that we lost whatever has ended lost 
left our lives, what have you, we already know that universe, spirit, God is going to gift us with something so much more than what you ever expected. And that doesn't, that's not just a relationship. That goes for a simple thing like what I had. I had a printing issue. I bought this printer. It was defective. And I was just like beside myself last week because I knew that I was on the phone with, with God only knows where in the world these people are talking to me from, wanting to get into my computer, which you know, that's a red flag, but I allowed it. Because my mindset, my ego said, oh my God, I have to have a printer working. I'll stay on the phone for five hours. It was up, it was about three, up to three. On the phone with someone probably from another country, God knows. Right? So, come to find out, I had to go because I had a client. It was Friday. I had a client. I closed up the, finally, everything, right? The app that gives you remote viewing, hello. And the next thing I knew, Saturday, I heard go to Best Buy and get, get it set up from the Geek Squad Right, so that if anything were to happen, it's just a car ride away, a phone call away, instead of talking to someone in another country, Pakistan, India. And I have no, I'm no, I'm not throwing shade on those countries. I love every country, I love every ethnic ethnicity, I love all of that. This is not that's not the point. The point is, why. Why did I do that? It was a lesson because I was so bent on this that I didn't, I didn't follow this. That's just an example and that's why I'm sharing it with you because I went to Best Buy on Saturday. I ended up calling HP, it's an HP printer. I ended up calling the company saying, I want to return this. I want my money back. It ended up being cheaper for me also financially to return my ego. <laughs> I returned my ego back to where it belongs. <laughs> and I said, I got it now. Thank you. And now I have a new brand spanking new computer, which is less money, still an HP. It's still doing the same job that I had originally gone for, except it wasn't a defect, a defective printer. It wouldn't connect with my wireless. That's an example, a very small but important example of how we're talking about letting go of the need to be swayed by instant gratification, or I need it now, or I want it now. I've got to have it. I don't care it, even if I have to sell my for it. Are you kidding me? So then when you step back and you realize that, you know, you've done something silly and even stupid, I'll admit, then you see that, oh my God, I saved money and got the same exact printer. And that's not a lie. And let me, ex let me just add one more thing to that story, the story. When I was, when I was waiting for the printer to come, it took like three days when I was waiting for it, my intuition 
as I was outside in Mother Earth meditating said, you really don't want that printer. But I didn't listen. Something said, return the printer. It's not going to be the one you want or it's not going to be good. I had a hunch and I didn't go for it. I didn't. I didn't. So I had to go through this whole thing, not to mention I had to carry the thing, <laughs> you know, get it back in the box. Thank God FedEx picked it up. But it was a whole, it was a whole process of going from alpha to omega to realize what I had done, what had happened, how it manifested, how it unfolded. I didn't listen. So that's what happens, you know, and there is a lot more like, you know, we can talk about this all day about how we don't listen to our own intuition, to our own gut feeling. So, all right. So now I'm going to pick one of these beautiful oracles. It's the week. So this is not just for a weekly reading. This is for life right here, this reading. This is how we now need to enter into our sunrise. The dawn of a new day is to just allow the, the lit, the torch that's lit within us is that gut feeling and our solar plexus of knowing, right? Just knowing, making foolish choices, <laughs> nature, right? It's what is natural comes to us without this. The control, the fear, the ego. It has nothing to do with nature. Nature is natural. So whatever you do, lead through your gut, be it unnatural, our bodies, our nature, so we naturally will react. We naturally know things before they happen. We naturally attach ourselves to, instead of attaching ourselves, sorry, to an outcome, we now allow nature to take its course. It's just like, okay, it's just like the example of why does it take nine months to have a baby? It's nature. This is the torch that each one of us now has been given. Right now, as we speak, this torch has been given to each and every one of you. Take this torch and use it naturally to allow, to allow nature to show you the way forward. As we hold on to this torch through our lifetime, I can't pick it up, through our lifetime and for the generations to come. And that is coming from our higher self. Each one of us being the sages that we are within. Okay. Have a great week. I'll see you tomorrow um, for the dailies. Okay, bye.